Hello everyone, welcome back to another game of Dominion, with a returning guest. Hello, uh, I'm Laminated Moth. I was on an earlier episode. Yep, I think the, uh, fourth one from the original set, when we started replaying the old cards. That sounds right. Yeah, I did have to go back and look at the video list to figure that out. Anyway, the kingdom for today brings in the final set of cards from Seaside. This is called Shipwrecks. And we got a bunch of familiar cards here. We've got Pearl Diver, Smugglers, and Warehouse that we've played with before. But we got a couple of new ones too. So we'll check out Native Village. This is the third card that comes with its own mat, alongside Pirate Ship and Island. When you play this one, you'll always get two extra actions, so it's a village like most other villages. Then you either take the top card of your deck, without looking at it, and put it face down on your native village mat. Once it's there, you can look at it as much as you want. You just can't look before deciding whether to put it on your mat or not, unless you've got some other card that lets you see what's on top of your deck, like a sentry or a wishing well. If you already know what that card is, you can make a more informed decision. Otherwise, you're just blindly taking something, setting it aside, and then having to make the decision the next time you play Native Village. Because the other thing you can do is take all the cards on your Native Village mat, whether that's 0, 1, 50, and put them all into your hand. So there are a couple of neat ways that you can use Native Village. You could just take the two actions every time and always choose pick up cards, leave the mat empty. You could set aside the odd card every once in a while and pick them up when you feel that that's going to benefit you. You can set aside most of your deck and pick them all up for one gigantic turn near the end. Or if you've got a way to stick specific cards on top of your deck that you don't want, you can always set aside with Native Village and just clean out your deck when, like in this kingdom, you don't have any trashing. Well, I guess we do have one trashing card. Sometimes you've got none, and then Native Village is the only way to get stuff out of your deck. One thing to watch out for, though, if you run out of Native Villages, then you have no way to get those cards back. It wants me to make you resign. Uh, <laughs> nah, I don't think so. So, far right side of the bottom row, Navigator. I don't think anybody likes this card. There are a lot of cards in Dominion that have some sort of sifting or filtering effect. Warehouse is one, Cellar is one. Navigator lets you look at the top five cards of your deck and either discard all five of them or put all of them back on top in any order. So you can rearrange the top of your deck a little bit at the cost of an action. It's not great, but if you do have a lot of junk in your deck, it can help you escape the occasional dud hand, and it is worth two coins. Then Salvager gives you a buy, and you trash a card from your hand and get one coin per coin that the card you trashed costs. So if you trash coppers, you're just getting a buy, but you're getting rid of some coppers. What's neat about it is that as long as it's a card that's still in the supply, you can always just buy a copy of the card that you trashed and still have whatever else you would have had in your turn. So if you were to say Salvager trash a province, you can buy a province in addition to whatever else you were going to do on that turn if you didn't play the Salvager. Pretty good way to run out the province pile if you've got a significant lead. And it's also handy just for getting rid of some of the junk early on. Then we have Sea Hag, probably one of the least popular cursing attacks. But when it's the only one, like in this kingdom, you don't want to ignore it. All it does when you play it is make everybody else discard the top card of their deck and replace it with a curse. Once the curses run out, you're just discarding cards off the top of your opponent's deck. It's not the worst thing you could have, I suppose, but it's, it's not great. Especially when paired with the next attack in line, Ghost Ship. 
you draw two cards, everybody else who's got four or more cards puts some cards back on top of their deck until they're down to three cards. So it's kind of like a militia or a torturer, but instead of discarding cards, they got to put them back on their deck and then draw past them the next time. So sometimes getting hit with a ghost ship will save you if you've got a complete dud of a turn, but you've got one good card in your hand. You might stick it back on top of the deck and wait until next turn. But if you're getting hit with a ghost ship every turn, it's really annoying. Next up, we got Merchant Ship. It's the only duration card for this kingdom. You get two coins when you play it, and two more coins at the start of your next turn. So it's not bad for economy. I don't think it's great, but it's got its uses. And finally, Treasury. Probably the crown jewel of this particular kingdom. You get a card, an action, and a coin, but when you discard it from play, like at the end of your turn, if you didn't buy any victory cards, you get to put it back on top of your deck. So it's kind of like getting a free coin every turn until you buy something green. It's probably got some other uses, but that's the big one in my opinion. So, any thoughts from you about this? Um, I think if uh, someone gets a 5-2 split, there's really good lineups. But the, the 4-drops, um, not looking too hot. Uh, I'm not sure how they're going to complement what else is on the board, but I guess we'll see. Yep, yeah, it's a good point. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and start it on my end, and... I get to go first. And it's a really tough call what I want to do with it. I think I want to start with a salvager. Hmm. I like the idea of warehouse uh, with some of these other cards. I know mm -hmm. that Navigator with warehouse is just going to turn over your deck really fast. I'm not sure what the utility of that is. With yeah, I'm not sure like... you want both necessarily. I'm, I'm considering yeah. a warehouse. Could get a silver, start trying to hit those fives early on. Yeah, I'll go for the warehouse. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to be a little aggressive and get that sea hag. Fair enough. I'm going to salvage my first estate and follow suit. Um, I don't think, uh, I, th I think it's, it's, I, I really need a silver, so we're, we're going to get one of those. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and play the warehouse. Might not have been my very best option, but I think it's silver time. Another silver for me. Yeah. Go ahead and get the sea hag out there. First blood. And... I want to get a native village. Well, nice thing. I got that uh, curse out of the way. Uh... And throw one back at you. Let's see. Now the curse pile is uh, it's only ten for two people, but it gets like, there's usually a lot more when when I usually play. So I guess there's a chance that'll run out pretty quickly. Yeah, it does tend to do that. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know if I want another warehouse yet. But the real alternative is another silver. Yeah. Let's just no, get the silver. No one's gotten any of those five drops yet, so... Not yet. Still going for the silver. First blood again. What do I want? Hey, speaking of, yeah. Yeah, I haven't gotten a lot of money yet, so I'm going to take the treasury. The treasury is powerful. Um, only one buy. Yep. Uh, that, that yeah, I think salvager. salvager is our only plus buy, so you can't really increase your deck size. You're only ever going to make stuff better. Let's set aside a card, and we'll give you a curse, getting rid of that nasty estate for you. Now, oh, I don't recall yeah. uh, hmm. cards on the um, the mat the, um, that the, the native village and the island use. Mm -hmm. They're added during scoring, correct? So if you put a curse correct. there, that's they still are still one. part of your deck. Another six. I, I guess I'm going for the, the gold. Ooh. Yeah. It's that's not bad two, if you can get it. Two in a row, that's, that's not bad. Hmm. What do I want to do? I guess we'll just trash that curse and get another native village. Alright, let's see what we got. Hmm. That, that salvager is getting tempting. That's that's for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with that. All right. With all these curses in play, I think I'm going to pick up my card, so I can hit six and get a gold. I think uh, I got the first province and Ooh. overpaid on that. Uh, let's set aside something. Set aside something else. And what you're setting aside is not. I I don't know what those cards are. So, right. Um. That, that that can be powerful. Uh. In in a, in a sense. Oh, you zapped my gold. Oof. Uh-huh. I think it's there to protect my valuable actions. I think we're going to go with another warehouse. Yeah, they're pretty good for sorting through stuff. I've got plenty of cards to sort through. Hmm. Uh, let's see. I'll have another four or five. Hmm. I think I want to have five and get myself another treasury. Oof. This treasury is pretty grand. That they are. But I lost one. Oh, it's it's nice temporary. because if I can get them into my hands, then they're proof against the sea hag, but... Oh, yeah. Um... Now that it's a salvager, I'm really hoping to get, get one of those with the sea hag here in a couple more rounds. Yeah... I don't know if I want another salvager, but I do have a lot of junk in my deck at this point that I want to get rid of. Yeah. 
Salvager or Warehouse? Which one? Well, I'll get the second Salvager. If I've got less stuff to sift through, then it'll be easier to find it all. Honestly, that Navigator is getting a little tempting. Uh, I know you, you mentioned not too many folks like it, but the uh, rearranging the deck with Sea Hag and uh, uh, Native Village see seems kind of powerful. Mm hmm. Hmm. Especially if you need to use those plus two actions from Native Village. It's something you can do. Yep. Alright, Salger to toss out a curse. Yay! Uh, oh, and I am broke, so I'm not going to bother buying anything. Yeah, those curses aren't worth a whole lot when you trash them. <laughs> well, I could have bought okay. a copper, I guess, but... Yeah, I'm definitely picking up. Because I don't need that curse. Let me set something aside. That's a good one to set aside. I like it. Drawing may not have been my best option, but... Go ahead and... We have a ghost ship. Top deck two cards? Oof. Yep. Down to three. Oof. You, and uh... the nice thing is, if you suspect I've got a sea hag coming, you can always put a dud card on top of the deck to get discarded. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I chose my two cards in the right order. Well, looks like you have. I've only got one treasury in play. The other one's buried in the discard somewhere, I'm pretty sure. So I want to build a little bit more. Or you do, do have that just... extra buy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I could get another, say, Ghost Ship Native Village pair. Keep my treasury. Or I can just go for the big P. Yeah, I don't feel like you're much of a threat at this point, so... It's only that lone sea hag. Now, that being said, I have seven. I mm -hmm. had to put a copper on top of my deck. <laughs> uh, That's very, the attack. Very close. See, if you had a merchant gold. ship last turn, you would have had more gold this turn. Yeah, I kind of kind of wish I... Uh, Maybe put a silver, or I guess I didn't have a silver, but maybe I should put a gold on top instead of that copper. Yeah, it's possible. It really depends on what it is you want to do that turn. You know, like I said, Ghost Ship, you can take the few good cards in a hand and put them on top of your deck for next time and then just accept that you've got a dud this time. So, seven again. Let's go one more Ghost Ship Native Village. Ooh. Well, I got plenty of cards to discard. Um, but not quite the reach that I'd like. I'm going to go with another Salvager. All right, we'll set aside first. See what all comes up. Let's see if you get another one of those ghost ships. That's what I'm afraid of. There it is. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go. So, yeah, the um, I don't know what the order is when it top decks then. I don't know if the yeah, first it, one. It should have bottom and top at the top of the window. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't give me that window. It, it just has me select the two. So let's mm. let's see uh see what, which order it is. Yeah, that's kind of weird. 
Yeah, they do that. I mean, for... I guess the first one that you select goes onto the deck first. That, that's what I'm assuming. So that's the order that I picked. But we'll find out if you uh, drop that sea hag. There's only one curse left, so be worthwhile. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll set aside. Now, do I know how many cards are set aside with Native Village? Yep. Yeah, right now it's none, because I just picked up. <laughs> hmm. Well, I've got a couple of options for things that I can do. Let me just salvage two coppers. I guess I could take my chances, but I don't like it. I'm going to keep the warehouse intact. What do I buy, though? I don't know if I want two more native villages. It's, it's getting excessive. Where was your uh, fourth coin from? See, oh, you have two treasuries. There yeah, we go. two treasuries. We need a couple of pearl divers. Oh, uh, have you bought any of those yet? Nope. No. Those are the first two gone. All right, well, we'll finally get a treasury. Treasury's pretty good. Okay, set something aside. Now, is this going to be your eight turn? Then up. Hmm. No, one buy and eight coins. I think it's about time. We'll just All shuffle right. those treasuries back in there. Well, I'll go ahead and follow suit with three gold. Hmm. Yeah, I think the attack is important enough to take a risk. That actually kind of worked out. What do I get now? I now, don't is, want a is duchy. There... Is there such a thing as too many treasuries in your deck? Yeah. I know filtering is always I really fun. I would say if there were more plus buys, the answer would definitely be yes. Oh, yeah. But you do have a point. All right. That curse pile is now out of here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Which means it's time for another salvager. Which means it's time for me to pick up and get rid of a sea hag. There you go. Forgotten about that. Yeah, let's leave that on the bottom. Pick up, trash the curse, and Again, having too many native villages isn't such a bad thing. Because I can potentially draw a lot by setting a lot of cards aside with native villages and then picking one up. Yeah, there, there's always a risk that... I, I feel like native village has a higher tendency to miss than uh, to other villages. I don't know if mm -hmm. that's a true assumption, but... yeah. On the other hand, the misses are not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, I guess if it, you hit an estate with it, 
it gets it out of your deck temporarily, so... Yeah. Well, I won't be hitting any estates with mine. Mm. I don't think I want a third salvager. I don't know if I want two more native villages, though. Two more pearl divers or another silver. I think I gotta go for the pearl divers. We're getting near the end here. All right. Ooh. Um, drew some interesting cards. Discarding a lot of curses. Uh, let's, let's do some mm -hmm. math here. Well, it added up to two. Two's an okay number. Uh, yeah. Pearl Diver's not bad. Better than nothing. Oh, I do have an additional buy, though. Yeah. Unfortunately, the curses are out, so you can't buy one. Oh, darn. Okay, well, I've shuffled, so I definitely need to do something good. Uh, I'm going to say that's not really something good. But let me put that on top. Quit while I'm ahead. And just get the province. See if I can make my way through the rest of the deck and get to treasuries again. It's interesting this um, this this uh, tableau because I'm not discarding all of my curses with the warehouse because there's a chance I can hit a salvager and get rid of the curse through that. And that's just yeah, a... I mean, there's there's something to be said for hanging onto a curse so that you can trash it, but on the other hand, you're not getting anything much out of it that turn. Yeah. Speaking of not getting much out of things, how about another Pearl Diver? It just, just means a more explosive turn later, right? Yeah. So I've got an interesting situation here. I can try to accomplish something, or I can just set something aside. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see what I get. Well, that is a thing. So I've still got the same options that I had before. But you've got a slight lead. I'm not sure that I want to mill provinces right now. Yeah, we'll go ahead and play it. Do I just churn my deck a little bit? Unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to have to. Hmm. Well, getting rid of two curses that turn is pretty good. Yeah. I didn't get to buy anything, but I have narrowed the gap. And I think that was all of my curses. Hmm. Well, time for me to get rid of that sea hag. And that gives me enough to grab a province. Nice.
Hmm. Yeah, it occurs to me that playing Pearl Diver before Native Village would have been a good idea. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a good interaction. I didn't even think of that one. Wondering whether there's even much of a point to buying anything right now. Well, those provinces are uh, getting dry. I don't know if you how you how you're feeling on points, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Yeah, I mean the estate might actually make a difference. Well, I am playing a salvador to trash a gold. To get another province. Mm-hmm. Hopefully I don't need that gold in a couple turns here, but... Okay, so basically there's one collection of hands that will do it for me. Well, actually, come to think of it, there are a couple of things that I could do. Yes, I'm going to put that on top. Thank you. Uh, hmm. I don't think it's time to. Well, yeah, actually, I do need to pick up. I'm looking for something specific. I'll take that. Do need to find another native village. We'll get that in there first. That's what I need. Attack doesn't affect you anymore. And I have the win in hand. Ooh. So, no, I don't. I don't have the win. Oof. I was thinking of something else. Hmm. So you need to get two provinces. I was thinking I could mill one, but I can't. Oh. Basically, I need to get more stuff. I think I'll go ahead and play the warehouse. Certainly don't need the province. I have a feeling both of those salvagers are going to be vital. So I'm going to pick up for absolutely no response. Do I possibly have enough? It's 10. Counting 18. I think that's 18 coins. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah, I didn't need the estate before. I could get one now, but there we go. Very close. Those, uh, those two estates actually uh, really mattered. Wow. Yeah, well, one of them mattered. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, good point. And the, the two extra coins are just kind of gravy at that point. The reason I bought the estate earlier was so that if you did get another province, then two provinces would give me the win. Otherwise, I could trash a province to get a province and take the lead. Yeah, I don't think I was going to... Uh to grab a, a, the last province, even if you only got one. That uh, ghost ship really, really sent me back there, so. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised you never bothered to get one. I, I didn't, um, because the native village, I feel, 
is a safe way of protecting yourself from the ghost ship in a sense of you can't discard those cards. So anything you have set aside is going to be powerful when they come back, regardless of your current hand size. True, but you've got to have the native village, and you've got to play it at a time when you've got enough stuff on your mat. No, oh, good point. So, yeah, you know, with a three-card hand, you know, I gotta decide when you play Ghost Ship, for example, do I want to put something on top of my deck to set it aside with a native village, assuming that I've got one in hand? And then that leaves me two cards to take the rest of my turn with. So if I don't have a ghost ship to go along with it, then I don't really have a lot to work with. Oh, yeah. The, uh, the smugglers definitely ended up being significantly more powerful than I initially anticipated. I was not planning on getting as many as I did when uh, I first looked at mean? it. Uh, the salvagers, yeah. Yeah, but... I thought about a smugglers, but... It just seemed like I was going to be using up an action to get something that wasn't necessarily going to be good for me. Mm hmm And I don't think you bought a whole lot of stuff that I would really have wanted extra copies of. Um, I did get a whole bunch of gold, like three turns in a row, I think. Mm hmm Um, and I think it says up to six Yeah, on you can smuggle gold. So... That'd be nice, but it wouldn't be significant, right? So. Right. I mean, money wasn't necessarily the problem, especially I was picking up treasuries, and I could ideally get enough of my mm -hmm. money to collide that I wasn't too worried about it. You know, the, the idea was ultimately, hopefully, to take enough of a lead, I could start salvaging provinces. Yeah. That's, that's kind of your power play. But, yeah, in games with cost reduction, you can even smuggle provinces. Oh. Because they would... When you reduce the cost of the card, it's not reducing the amount needed to buy it. It's reducing the actual printed value on the card. Yep. So if you can make a province worth six coins or less, you can smuggle them. But that wasn't really going to be relevant to this. This is kind of play the sea hag as much as you can early on. And I think you gave me six curses and I only gave you four, but. I, yeah, I don't think five, it was an five. even split, but you got. I think you hit all of your curses. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, because I had the salvagers and I was churning through my deck pretty quickly. I started trashing stuff right away. And salvaging estates is one of the better ways to trash them, I think, because it boosts the value of the rest of your hand by two. Oh, yeah. So you can buy something pretty nice. Kind of like having a remodel, almost. That being said, you did end up buying those estates back, but it, it worked out for you. Yeah, well, I think it was the last game that I played against Kieran, where at the end of the game, he kind of undervalued an estate, gave it to me with Ambassador, and that was the one point that I needed to win. So, when you get into the end game, estates are points rather than stop cards as such. Yeah. You know, if you never shuffle your deck again, the estate doesn't stop you from doing anything. It, it was it was kind of tough for me to make those calls because when the province pile had two or three left, I had mm -hmm. six cards left in my deck. So, I was just like, I'm going to get a reshuffle before I can you know get, grab those last few and so i was actually being mindful of like these last few turns do i want them to be duds um and so, so that was it, it, interesting uh thought mm -hmm. i had there yeah it just kind of flies in the face of salvager being able to get you so much more value when you don't need the valuable cards anymore mm-hmm so, yeah, I'm never going to spend that gold. I'm never going to play the ghost ship, so there's 11 coins. Yeah. Well, anyway, good game, and thanks for playing. Yeah, thanks for uh, having me. 
And for everyone in the audience, we'll see you next time.